Hey everyone this is Natasha today i'll show you how to crochet these elegant and delicate snowflake coasters for your christmas table decor do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you learn today in this video let us quickly breeze through the materials that you'll need for this i am using a super fine fingering weight 100% cotton yarn in white color You'll need a crochet hook that is of 3 mm, a pair of sharp scissors, a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. I'll also be using some fabric stiffener to keep the coasters in shape. You can use a light one or a heavy one as per your preference. I'm using a heavy finish. You'll also need blocking pins and blocking board. So let us start. We'll start with a slip knot. and a chain 4 these chain 4 will be counted as your first double crochet now we will make 11 double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook that is the first chain that you made that will be fourth from the hook make a total of 11 double crochets in the same chain with the first chain 4 you will have a total of 12 stitches keep making double crochets in that same central chain count and check if you have a total of 12 i have 11 so i'll make one more Now in order to finish the round we'll make a slip stitch on the top of the first chain 4 that we have made here. On the top chain make a slip stitch that will complete your first round. Start the second round with chain 3. This again will be counted as your first double crochet. Now make a double crochet in the same place at the base of the chain 3. not in the next stitch in the same place now make chain 2 again make two double crochets in the next stitch two in the same next stitch then two again in the next stitch two double crochets again have two chains now again make two double crochets in each of the next two stitches that will be a total of four double crochets two in the next one and two in the stitch next to it again make two chains two double crochets in the next stitch two double crochets oops two double crochets in the next one then two chains again repeat the same thing you'll be repeating it a total of five times one and two again two double crochets if you find it the video too fast you can go to the settings and run the video at half speed If you are not able to crochet along please do that Now for the end just make two double crochets in the last stitch that is remaining and then make a slip stitch on the top of the first chain 3 made here that is the third chain make a slip stitch that is your round 2 Start round 3 with a chain 1 and a single crochet in the same place as the chain 1 now make a single crochet in the next stitch now in the space we are going to make a half double crochet a double crochet two chains 
again a double crochet and a half double crochet that will make the points we are going to make a star shape in this round so we'll have half double crochet double crochet two chains double crochet and again a half double crochet this will make a six pointed star shape in this round now just make single crochets in each of the next four stitches one two three and four now again in the two chain space we'll have the same thing a half double crochet one double crochet two chains and then again a double crochet and a half double crochet Again, if it is too fast for you, you can pause the video at any time or if you want, you can go to the player settings and run the video at half the speed or even one fourth speed that will make it slow for you to follow. Again, in the two chain space, we'll do half double crochet, double crochet, two chains, again a half double crochet and a double, sorry, double crochet and again a half double crochet. That will be HDC, DC, chain 2, DC and again HDC. Then make 4 single crochets on each of the next 4 stitches. 1 single crochet in each stitch. I have provided a link to the written pattern for this snowflake. You can go and see the description. Click on the link, just register and download it for free. When you reach the last space just make single crochets in the two remaining stitches and make a slip stitch on the top of the first single crochet that we made in this round this is round three now for the last round again start with a chain one make a single crochet in the same place and make single crochets in each of the next two stitches Next we will make a picot that is 3 chains and a slip stitch at the base of the 3 chains. If you don't know how to make a picot, I have made a short video on 3 different variations of making a picot. You can go and check out my channel and learn how to do this stitch. Now make a single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next 2 chain space, 3 chains, single crochet, 5 chains, again a single crochet in the same two chain space three chains again and a single crochet that's it this will make the point of the snowflake now make single crochet in the next stitch again make a picot now make single crochets in the next three stitches one two and three again make a picot again make single crochets in the next three stitches one two three do a picot again a single crochet in the next a single crochet in the next stitch now in the two chain space make a single crochet three chain single crochet five chain single crochet three chain and again a single crochet that will make two small points and a one central long point with the five chains so on each point we have three spikes now make a single crochet in the next stitch again a pico then single crochets in the next three stitches Keep repeating the same pattern. Make a picot again. Now
keep repeating from this pico three single crochets pico single crochet again a single crochet three chain single crochet five chain single crochet three chains and single crochet in the two chain space one single crochet again a pico three single crochets again a pico then three single crochets again that will be the repetition of the same pattern so make one two and three single crochets three chains pico single crochet single crochet in the two chain space smaller spike with three chains single crochet five chains again a single crochet three chains single crochet single crochet in the next stitch pico single crochet in the next three stitches and again a pico repeat this for a total of six times that will complete our last round for the snowflake you can download the free written pattern from the description link below go and check the description there is a link provided for the free written pattern for the snowflake When you reach the end, make a pico and a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we made in this round. That's it. You can cut off the thread, shape it a little with your finger, gently pull it. Don't pull it too hard. It will hold its shape once you apply fabric stiffener to it. cut off the thread secure the end that's it now we will weave in both the ends to finish it off Let us block it now. I am using a blocking board. You can use any foam board or a cushion or a thick cloth folded in multiple folds. Some blocking pins. And I am using a spray starch. You can use a liquid one also. So I will just shape it properly. If you are using a spray starch, I would advise to do it outdoors because it has harmful fumes. Generously spray the starch on the coaster till it is completely drenched in it. Let us soak the excess one also.
now to stretch it slightly i'm going to measure it and then block it i want the tips to be 5 inches from tip to tip i want the diameter to be 5 inches so i'll just measure it with the scale and then i'll put the pins i'll repeat the same thing with the remaining four points add pin to one of the sides and then stretch and add pin to the opposite end stretch it and pin it that's it now i'll apply pins to the central picots also these ones because i want them to stand out a little make sure that you are using good quality pins because pins might rust because of the starch and that will discolor the snowflake and the coaster so please make sure that you use good quality pins shape it a little with your fingers and then we are going to leave it here to completely dry i prefer to dry it in sun because it takes a long time to dry once it is complete i'll just gently remove the pins pick it up and if there are any flakes sticking to it you can uh, remove them this is it we are done with the coasters i have made a set of 6 you can make a set of 4 or a pair of 2 it depends on your personal preference i have made a total of 6 if you want you can also embellish them with some beads or uh, sequins or even you can apply a glitter on it to give it a more festive look This is it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do check the description for the written pattern and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked what you learned today. Thank you so much for watching.